So what is the Whipple procedure? If you think of it first, anatomy, esophagus, stomach, the small bowel, the first portion of the small bowel is the duodenum. It hugs the head of the pancreas. The pancreas lives behind the stomach. When you have pancreatic cancer, this bile duct is obstructed by the tumor mass because the, the bile duct goes into the pancreas. And if it's into the pancreas and the bile is now backing up, you turn yellow, you become jaundice. And so to take this area and to do a good cancer operation, you, we will take the duodenum, we will cut the head of the pancreas at the neck, we'll take the gallbladder and everything goes together to the pathologist. So now you have the entire stomach because it's a pylorus preserving Whipple. The entire stomach, you have the bile duct that is not connected and you have the pancreas that is not connected. So in other words, you have this left, this is the pancreas that is left, you have this is widely open and then the entire stomach is there, but it's not connected. So what do we do? We bring the jejunum up to the pancreas, we connect it to the pancreas, we connect it to the biliary tree, which drains the, the liver, and we connect it to the stomach. So instead of everything being connected to the first portion of the small bowel, now it's connected to the second portion of the small bowel. So once you are healed, lifestyle is pretty much the same. But we used to do make big incision this way, some other surgeons do it up and down. But now it's only eight millimeter incisions, and this is just three to five centimeters, enough to take the specimen out in one piece and send to pathology. People, if we do it all robotically, do very well.